Hello ladies and gentlemen and uh, welcome to our first Disney Ice Hockey presentation in 2023. And yeah, let's uh, see which one of the teams will get the first victory in 2023. The teams are the New York Waverleys and the Seaford Warriors. Here live from the Virtual Madison Square Garden in New York City. And now the players are ready, the, the ref are ready, the commentators are ready. Let's begin with the face-off. And the first period is officially underway. The Waverleys got uh, possession in the center ice and now they're in possession and as to Larkin with a shoot and uh, saved by Sensei Tai and today's goalkeeper between the posts and the team of the Seaford Warriors. And the Waverleys has won the first phase of in this game. Mason Gray for shoot! And that is the first goal in this game. And yeah, here um, Mason Greyback brings his team in the lead early in the first period. And uh, Yeah, what should I say? Um, Mason Greyback has uh, used the uh, wide open space and uh, has nailed the puck into the goal. One nothing lead for the Waverleys. And now there's a luck in. Takes the puck off of the C4 player, but they're back in possession. Now that's it's Kai Brewer. Misplaced pass to Ernesto Larkin. And Gray back to Felix. Felix prevails well against his defender. And now he's still back in possession. Now Russo. Felix. Lost the puck against Kim Crawford. Now the Warriors are in possession. Joe Malone is in the neutral zone right now. Joe Malone. Joe Malone to Frank Bickel. And. Um, the shot to goal was was prevented by a Waverly's defender that they're now back in possession. Joe Malone is in the neutral zone. She looks for an open player. Finds Rudolf Gillespie, then to and Rivera to Rudolf Gillespie. Rudolf Gillespie shoots and uh, Glove saved by Herschel Tate. Now Seaford Warriors has won the face-off, and but uh, the Waverleys managed to get back in possession right now, and they lost the puck again. And now um, the Warriors are in possession again. Jones prevails well against the Waverleys defender. Kicks the ball to kicks the puck to Randy Plotsky. And uh, and now they have lost two. They have lost the puck to Riley. Now Harper Finkel in possession kicks, kicks the puck to Hugh Normus. Hugh Normus finds Riley. And his shot got prevented. And the Warriors defender now um, face off in front of his goal. And the Waverleys has won the face off. But Looney managed to get the puck back. Now that's it's a break, finally breakthrough. And the referee blows the whistle for a penalty shot because of a foul. And I believe that it was because of holding. But 
But due to the decision uh, from the ref, he has a big time opportunity to tie the game. And Looney is heading towards the goal. Looney against the goalkeeper. Against Herschel Heritage, he, he shoots and he scores. 1 1. And Looney brings his team back in the game in the tenth minute in the first period. 1-1. One, one. No, that's Dexter Creasenberry. Dexter Creasenberry finds Zeke Beekerman. Back to Dexter Creasenberry. That's Mason Bray back. Zeke Beekerman. Dexter Creasenberry. Good body check from the Warriors and they're now in possession. Jack Brewer. Jack Brewer finds Looney. Looney is in a neutral zone right now. Looney with his space for a shoot. And... Glove saved by him. Then Looney has taken a rebound shot and... Uh, he has saved again. And Hirsch Levitt has saved again. And now that's Milton Grubb is finally breakthrough for him. But... Uh, gets a pass through to Jack Brewer. And safe by Hirsch Levitt. Now... Max Russo. Max Russo clear, has cleared down the danger. And Milik Krapnik has the puck. Great body check by the Wari by the Ravelies. Now we're 2 2 in possession. Misfit has to Jack Blue. And now Milton Krapnik. Let's find a breakthrough for him. Milton Krapnik heading towards the goal. And he scores. 2 1 lead for the Seaford Warriors right now. In the 14th minute, in the first period. Yeah, what should I say about that? Um, Milton Grubbing has used the space. Has, has used the space for the shot and uh, nailed the goal into the left bottom corner. And now Max Russo and saved by Sensei Tai. Uh, sorry, yes. Shot the puck in the right bottom corner, sorry. My mistake. And now, face off in front of the goal from Sensei Tai. And leg save by Sensei Tai. Now Frank Bickel in possession. Frank Bickel. Bickel pe kicks the puck to Jormel. And Jormel is in a neutral zone right now. Shoots and leg save by Herschel Heritage. Now, but... Uh, the puck is still at the Warriors. Rebuild, but they get. And also Langen takes the puck off of them. And now they manage to get the puck back. Jack Bluer to Joan Malone. Joan Malone to Frank Bickel. Frank Bickel is in neutral zone right now. And. Shot went off target. And now. Ernesto Larkin. So Larkin to Max Russo and Rudolf Gillespie has blocked the shot uh, on the goal but the puck is and now the Warriors have the puck back Joe Malone and and her shot went a little bit too far on the right but they got the puck back and And that was the end of the first period. The score is 2 to 1 for the Seaford Warriors. After an early lead uh, from the Waverleys, the Warriors managed to come back in the game and they are now in the lead up by one goal. And um, now we will. We were heading directly, directing to the second period.
And the second period is now underway. The Beverly has won the face off at center ice. They're now in possession. Max Russo. So managed to get the puck back. And uh, now they got. Uh, the Rovia has yes, taken the puck off of him. Milton Krupnik with his chance for a shoot. She shoots and leg safe by Herschel Levitate. Now Max Russo. There's now in the, in the neutral zone. And. Uh, and the first thing he do is to clear down the danger. And now the Warriors are in possession. Milton Krupnik with a chance for a shoot. He shoots. And that was the post. It was only the post. Milton Krupnik. Leg save by Herschel Heritage. Face off in front of his goal. And the uh, Warriors has won the face off in the box and uh, and their shot was saved by Hershey Levitate again and uh, now and now face off in front of his goal. And Rudolf Gillespie, Ferreira! And glove save by Herschel Levitate. Another face off in front of his goal. And the Warriors has won the face off again. Shoots it, leg save by Herschel Levitate. Now Riley is in possession. He is now in the neutral zone. Riley. He has some space for the sh shot, but uh, great hip check from Joe Malone. And uh, they're now in possession. Her team is now in possession. Frank Bickel to Joan Malone. Joe Malone to Philip Rivera. Shoot, scores! Free run for the Warriors. Philip Rivera. What a great finish. Let's see it in the replay. Joe Malone has seen her open teammate Philip Rivera on the left side wing and then he has used the space and and nailed the puck in into the left upper corner great finish 3-1 lead. Now Steve Nichols! And the Beverly defenders uh, prevents the shot on the goal. Now Jerry Martinez, he's heading towards the goal right now. Shoots! And leg save. Uh, glove save by Herschel Levitate, sorry. Face off in front of his goal. And this time the Bay Valise has won the face off in the box and, and they're now in possession. Max Russo to Mason Greyback. Mason Greyback. Max Russo, Dexter Crazenberry cleared down the danger for the first time, but Max but the puck is still at the Bay Valise, but And now a rebuild attack by the Waverleys. Dexter Quisenberry. Quisenberry to Max Russo! Stick save by Sensei Tai. Looney. To Jack Brewer. Looney. Back again to Jack Brewer. And they lost the puck against Mason Greyback. And Mason Greyback kicks the puck to Zeke Bikerman. Zeke Bikerman is now in the neutral zone. Zeke Bikerman. Maybe. And uh, Kim Crawford takes the puck off of him, and they're now back in possession. Jack Brewer. Brewer has cleared down the danger, and now they're they Valise are in possession. Zeke Bikerman is in neutral zone. Zeke Bikerman has the opportunity for a shoot. And um, 
safe by Sensei Tai. Now Philip Rivera in possession, shoulder checked by Ernesto Larkin and then now in possession. Ernesto Larkin lost the puck against Philip Rivera. Now Joan Malone is in possession. Kicks, kicks the puck to Philip Rivera and Felix takes the puck off of him. Felix with a 24 shot. Ernesto Larkin shoots and scores. 3 to 2. Yeah, Felix has um, has saw the space from his uh, teammate Ernesto Larkin. He gets the he gets the puck through to him. He gets the puck through to him, and uh, Ernesto Larkin melts the puck into the left upper corner. Great finish. Three two for. Three now the score is three to two. The various are still in the lead. Now Joe Malone. Now to Philip Rivera. Gets tip checked by a by the Waverly defender and they're now in possession. Max Max Russo and Jack Br Kai, Kai Brewer was there to prevent the shot on the goal. But now the various are back in possession of the puck. Max Russo. Over to Mason Grab, uh, over to Felix. Felix over to Mason Grabeck. Mason Grabeck shoots and his shot went a little bit too far on the right. And they get the and they get the puck back and Felix shoots and he scores. Free free. Great defending effort by by the Waverleys, and now um, this player has seen the wide right open player Felix, yeah, and he has nailed the puck into the right upper corner from behind. Very nice finish, and the score is equal, three three. And now the Waverleys has won. Uh, it's off at central ice and uh, great hip, great body check by. It was a great body check uh, from the Warriors, but uh, the Waverleys has managed to get back in possession of the puck. And uh, a few moments ago, that was a uh, uh, big time opportunity to get in the lead. But uh, his shot went off target. His shot, uh, a shot from a Waverly player went off target, and uh, but now they had another chance. Target, but now they had another chance to get in the lead because they are majority right now. Because one player of uh, Seaford Warriors are now in the penalty box because of a. Penalty violation. The ref has called a few moments ago. Now Mason Greyback. To Max Russo. Max Russo from behind. Like saved by Sensei Tai. Mason Greyback. To Max Russo. Stevie Nichols. Mason Greyback from behind. And glove saved by Sensei Tai. And that was the end. Of a second period, the score is equal, 3-3. Free, free. The Waverleys has made a comeback after the after the free one from the Warriors, and um, yeah, it could be a tight ending, ladies and gentlemen. And um, yeah, let's see how does the game went in the deciding third period, ladies and gentlemen. But before we get to the um, third. To the final period, 
we will take a short look on the statistic from both teams. Yeah, and see for the lead with their face-off in the face-off statistics, 57% to 42%, and New York are in the lead at the shots on the goal statistics. New York and the lead up by 12 to 10 in their shots on the goal statistic. And now we will directly go to the final periods. And now the third period is officially underway. The Seaford Warriors has won the face of at center ice. And the first thing they do is to clear down the danger. And the Waverleys has now the puck. Sieg Bikerman over to Stevie Nichols. Stevie Nichols finds Sieg Bikerman and lost the puck against Kim Crawford. And now Jack Brewer are in possession. Jerry Martinez is now in the neutral zone. Gets tip checked by a Waverly's defender, but they managed to get back in possession. Now Jack Brewer lost the puck against Justin Russo. And now Stevie Nichols is in possession. Over to Mason Greyback. Greyback to Zig Bikamen. Zig Bikamen. Zig Bikamen. Finds Max Russo. Max Russo. Lost the puck against Kim Crawford. Now Jerry Martinez. Lost the puck against Felix. And the ref has blows the whistle for offsides. And that leads to a face-off in front of a blue line. And the Beverly's has won the face-off. Max Russo. Max Russo. Lost the puck against March, but managed to get the puck back. Max Russo! Max Russo! And uh, a, a C4 defender prevents the shot on the goal. And they're now in possession. Frank Bickel is in the neutral zone. Philip Rivera. Joe Malone! Joe Malone! Scores in, the, in her rebound shot for the lead. 4-3. Joe Malone. First... A Waverly's defender has defended the shot from Joan Malone, but uh, she was. Uh, but on the other hand, she was faster than the than his defender, and uh, she nails the puck into the left upper corner. Nice finish for the free. The Seaford Warriors are back in the lead right now. Philip Rivera. Philip Rivera. It, and that was a, a, a big time opportunity to make the five to three, but it was a. But uh, Hirschlevitt has saved well with his leg. Now Felix to Max Russo and Nesto Larkin. Nesto Larkin with some, with his, with some space for a shoot. He shoots and uh, leg safe by Sensei Tai. Now Joe Malone over to Philip Rivera. Philip Rivera prevails well against his defender. Uh, nah. Honestly, not at all. He lost the puck against his defender. And uh, referee blows the whistle for an icing. And that leads to a face off in front of a goal from Herschel Larry Tate. And the Warriors has won the face-off in the box. But they lost the puck against Justin Russo. It's finally the breakthrough for him. He's heading towards the goal and leg safe by Hirsch Sensei Tai. Gets 
North Riley. A misplaced pass to Looney and Jack Blue is now in possession to Milton Grubnik over to jo Eddie Jones. Eddie Jones gets hooked by Riley and Riley is now in possession. Picked up 32 had the game, but uh, Looney prevents that. And misplaced pass to Stevie Nichols. Riley is back in possession. Misplaced pass to, to a player from the Warriors. Jack Brewer. Jack Brewer. Max Russo denies the shot on the goal. Now Hugh Normus to Riley. Riley. Riley shoots and leg save by Sensei Tai. Six seconds left for the Waverleys to tie the game. But, but now they managed to get the puck back against the Warriors and uh, the Warriors defender was there to, den to deny it. The shot on to deny the shot on the goal. Eddie Jones right now to Philip Rivera. Philip Rivera is now in a neutral zone. G good shot. Good, nice pass to his teammate, but uh, good defending effort from the Waverleys at all. And they're now in possession. Riley. Ah, finds not his teammate. And now the Warriors are in possession. Wendy Plotsky. He waits well against their defenders and uh, glove saved by Herschel Larry Tate. And uh, now there's a face off in front of his goal. Robert Wasabi, the Warriors, has won the face off. Kim Crawford, Milton Krupnik, to Jack Brewer. Looney back to Jack Bluer. Jack Bluer from behind and uh, his, sh his shot went off target, but they get the puck back. And now that it's that it's maybe the breakthrough for the Waverleys. Ernesto Larkin prevents Wale against his defender. But uh, the Warriors prevents the shot on the goal. Now Jack Bluer and lost the puck against the Waverleys against the Waverly's defender, Ernesto Larkin. Now Kim Crawford. Now Looney. And that is finally the first win in 2023 for the Seaford Warriors. And uh, by the way, it's the second win in the season. In the first Disney ice hockey season. Congratulations for the victory for the free for the Warriors. Yeah, and um, the Waverleys has made a comeback after the 3 1. Front from the Warriors, but. Um, in, a, in a fourth, in a third quarter. In a third period, sorry. The Warriors has made a deciding goal and um, after that they didn't let nothing happen and um, and yeah and last but not least they um, they deserved the win today and yeah that was finally the end of the first game in 2023 and uh, don't forget to like comment and subscribe and we will hear us next time at Disney Ice Hockey. Take care and goodbye.